So we're getting ready for WEC 41, and another one of the uh, faces is hanging out with us here in Sacramento. It's a couple days away. That's uh, Josh Crispy. How you doing? Good, and you? I'm good. You know what? I'm uh, I'm pretty relaxed because I get to do this every week, so I get to do my job pretty much day in and day out. But uh, it's been a while for you. Yeah, it has been. Uh, I don't even know how long, but it's been a while. Too long. Yeah. Yeah. You already forgot, huh? Yeah, I forget. I forget. What happened yesterday? <laughs> You're 20. I don't think you should have uh, memory loss already. Uh, August was when was when you last fought. Did I get the age right? Wait, what are you talking about? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Um, Honk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Uh, I don't even know. Uh, yeah, August, I think. Yeah. August 3rd, yeah. All right. Well, tell people what happened because, uh, you know, I was looking it up and I'm like, whoa, this is uh, this was pretty serious. This wasn't just uh, some fights being canceled or you needing a break. Yeah. Something hit me in the back of the head. Um, I think it was a leaf. But, um, yeah. What happened? What my injury? Yeah. Yeah, I was training with um, training up there with the uh, Lazan MMA with Danny and Joe, and uh, didn't really warm up too much. I was training with Danny, and he threw just a simple hip toss, you know, something basic, and landed directly on my head, like feet straight up in the air, basically diving into the floor, and um, tore my pec right here, and I tore. I actually had a bulge disc in my neck and in my back. I couldn't really move my arm at all, and uh, it's pretty scary. But actually, healed my back healed way quicker than I thought. I mean, it healed like within two months, but my, my chest was, it was still, even when I started training, it was still a little, you know, crunchy and stuff like that, like shaky. And, really? But um, I actually healed up real quick and I'm feeling great now. I'm ready to go. So you said initially that, uh, I mean, it's pretty scary. You're laying down there, you can't move. Then once you, you get up and you're around, uh, even in the next month or so or a couple of weeks, you, you couldn't freaking lift a coffee cup yeah. or walk the dog? Yeah, it's, it's stunk, man. And I'm like a wicked hyper kid. Like, I have ADHD, like, ridiculous. And I have to give my mom credit for dealing with me around the house all the time, <laughs> freaking being cranky and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I couldn't do anything. It was horrible. All right. So you mentioned the Lozans. They're young guys. Dan's obviously a young guy. Yep. You just kind of dated yourself there. Guys who fight in WEC and UFC aren't supposed to be saying, my mom had to deal with me. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, it, it's cool in some ways. We'll have some fun with it. But, uh, Hi, no, I mean, this, he's a young dude. How, how, how have you come this far this quickly and I would have to think you know you you might think you have a complete game do you have a complete game at this age can, can you actually have a complete game at this age yeah I know eight-year-olds that have complete games <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> at my gym I'll bring you down there you see some of them yeah you definitely think you have a complete game I mean if you train in it enough I mean I've been doing something 13 so it's like what seven six years I don't even know and you've been doing MMA the whole MMA, time MMA strictly MMA yeah see I'm telling you this guy is the the wave of the future because there's a ton of these dudes coming like you said eight years old and that kind of wave too but um i mean you've just been training mma straight through there was no you didn't have a base that you came from no never never had a base i just ever since i was 13 training mma that's it all right yeah well we have uh, the setup potentially for a changing of the guard which is interesting because i know you're kind of in a challenge here because you want to kick the crap out of Jens Pulver, but you really like the guy. Oh, I love Jens Pulver. I mean, I, I even I was telling him even when we like doing the face-offs and stuff that I was like, I have to get your autograph and stuff like that. Oh, but, uh, no, really? Yeah, yeah. But um, so hopefully I get it after the fight. But yeah, I mean, it, it's I mean, I have to fight him. You know, nothing I can do about that. But um, I don't want to retire him. If he gets retired, I'm sorry, sorry, Jens. But uh, yeah, it should be a good fight though. So have you had a case like this where you fought someone you, you kind of really admired, or is this this really unique because he's one of the you know the top stars of the past? I, I admired Hominick. I, I love that guy, and yeah. he's a great fighter too. His stand up is ridiculous, even his jujitsu is. I mean, but yeah, I, I, I liked Hominick a lot. But I mean, I knew it wasn't going to retire him. So. Yeah. So as you get in there, you're going to have weird thoughts. I mean, that that's pretty bizarre. Where you're like, I'm fighting a guy, but I want to get his autograph. Yeah, I'd be like, walking up to him like, hey, what's up? And then right in my face. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. Um, no. Nah, when I'm fighting, it's completely different. I'm in a different mindset. I mean, I won't even... It, to me, it's just a person. It's not a name or anybody. It's just another person on the other side of the cage that I have to beat up. Now, what have they been saying in the gym? Because Jens is on a little bit of a losing streak here. He's also fighting top guys, though. Yeah, in my gym or any... Yeah, in, in your gym. Um, don't underestimate him. I mean, he's deadly left hand, you know, and he's good boxing and wrestling and uh, even good jujitsu. And they're just saying, you know, don't ever underestimate anybody and, and we're training just for, we're training for the gents that was fighting the UFC you know what I mean mm -hmm. just at his prime so Jens is a big step up you know in terms of name and kind of where he sits at least by perception at 145 pounds yeah. if you could beat him where do you where do you really realistically think you are at you know 20 going on 21 years old as compared to the the guys who were in the title fight I, I don't know I don't know where it puts me I mean I, I'd, I'll fight anybody. Like I say, I'll, I'll fight anybody. I just love to fight. And yeah. whoever they put in front of me win. I want to be known as one of those people who 
win, lose, or draw, I fought anybody. You know, anybody they asked me, I never said no to a fight. So, I thought it was interesting reading up on Mike Brown a little bit. Mike years ago in UFC fought. Uh, was it uh, Jenky Sudo? And he said going in, he's like, you know what? I, I knew he was a little better. Yeah. You you work with uh, Joe Lozon. When you're in there with him, are you like, I'm even with him? Well, Joe's a little better. What's the mindset? Um, Do you feel I, you're dead even with a guy like Joe Lozon? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we, we, we never really train full, trying to kill each other. Hey. I mean, it's different when you're in a fight. I mean, we just train and we're not trying to kill each other at all or hurt each other. So right. I don't know. I couldn't all right. say. So uh, main event. What do you think happens? Mike Brown, you know, everyone's raving about the dude. Uh, the guys from in South Florida are like, this guy's ridiculous, 145, super strong. And yet we're talking about the guy who was kind of the, the model mixed martial artist on top of the world on this great run. So you can't just discount Uriah. Yeah, I know. I mean, this is, that's a tough call. I mean, they're both great wrestlers, and they both look strong and powerful, and uh, both fast with their hands. They both hit hard. So I, I, I really can't even call that fight. I don't even know. I just can't wait to see it. That's all. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. Josh Crispy, big fight against Jens Pulver. Good luck. Thank you, man.